617 right now. It is Men's Health Month and Father's Day is Sunday. News 2's Olivia Parsons spoke with a local doctor who says we need to talk to dad about mental health. Taking care of dad goes far beyond the physical factors. Dr. Kenneth Perry at Trident Medical says mental health awareness is important to fighting the stigma behind it. But people still be, feel concerned about bringing up the fact that maybe they're not as happy as they used to be. Maybe they're just not finding joy in the things that they used to find joy in. Mental Health America says that more than 6 million men suffer from depression each year. Older males who have either been widowed or are alone for some reason, they have a really high risk of mental health and suicide. The site reports more than four times as many men die by suicide than women in America. But mental health doesn't only affect older men. It's across the entire spectrum. So no matter what age dad is, it's important to make sure that you're keeping engaged. And if there is something, bring it up. Don't worry about talking about it. Dr. Perry says people sometimes resort to exercise as a means of overcoming mental health issues and that a jog around the block can help you get back on track. Mental health is not something that you can fix just with exercise. It sometimes takes counseling, it sometimes takes medication, and sometimes it's really intensive counseling. He says it's important to know that mental health is a real disease that needs a lot of intervention. So if you find that you're stuck in a routine... Sometimes it needs, you need to switch it up. But make sure you're talking to your family and realize that sometimes we all have to make a change. You should also consult with your doctor. It's okay to not be okay. That was Olivia Parsons reporting. According to Mental Health in America, men are less likely than women to seek help for depression. If you notice dad is in a funk, now is the time to urge him to talk with someone. Stay with us. We're coming right back. You're watching News 2 Today.